Hello there and welcome to the Back Zone Podcast. We're back talking more TNA wrestling shenanigans. And literally yesterday, literally <laughs> only like a few hours ago, I was recording a video about Miyu Yamashita uh, making an appearance uh, for TNA. And here we are to discuss what the heck Miyu Yamashita is doing uh, just after the Rebellion pay-per-view, uh, I already filmed that whole video and was going to upload it, but then I saw this, and then I was like, well, holy shit, here we go. Now we know what Miu is up to. She's facing the Juggernaut, John Grace, and pretty much everything that I said in that video was like, oh, yeah, Miu's probably going to win, they're probably going to build to a title match, blah, blah, blah etc. with Jordan Grace, but no, she's just getting thrust right into a title match, and now she's probably just going to lose. So, you know, completely different from where I was at with what they were going to do with her. This is a huge match, bro. Um, even, again, any time that you say, oh, it's obvious who's going to win, or whatever. You know, never, wrestling's never 1,000%. It's never, um, you know never say never type thing, hell can freeze over, etc. all those sort of cliches, you can't say that it won't happen, but the obvious and smart money is obviously on Jordan Grace, assuming she retains, which I'm assuming she will. So, yeah, this one is a big one, especially if you're going to be live. So this this adds some beef, adds some stakes to uh, the tapings after Rebellion. So those people who are over there in the United States uh, can uh, go and check this one out and, uh, yeah, see these two these two ladies clash. Um, and, like, the rest of us, we've got to wait for it to be on, uh, on TV to actually see it. Um, but still, we get to see it at some point, which is, which is nice. But, again, I know that... The results will be out there and people will not tune in because, hey, the results are out there and we know the results. And, well, we probably knew the results anyway, but now we've seen the results. Well, we won't tune in because nothing exciting happened. <laughs> and it's so easy to, to find the results So nowadays. So it's just it, you can't hide from those results and whatnot. Um, so that, that sucks. But, again, like... Uh, Knowing the result doesn't deter from, like, the enjoyment of the match, I don't think. Like, really. Um, if you knew who won Offspray versus, uh, you know, Okada, you know, whichever match, doesn't matter which one. If you knew the result, you'd still see that five-star match and be just like, you know, like, these girls are going to have a really great match. Um... So, and it'd be nice if Miu would stick around. I'd like to see that. Um, but like I said, we don't didn't really know her plans, so this might be a one and done. Um, like, if she's sticking around, what would she do? Like, that's my question, because I thought, like, if she's, like, going to stick around, she's obviously, like, sticking to get a, top, a title shot. But since she's getting a title shot, like, the first night or whatever. Uh, actually, is the title on the line? The title's not even on the line. I'm thinking, wow, the title's on the line. Man, this is just a singles match, not even for the title. It doesn't say... No, it just says that they're having a fight. So here I am being like, oh, it's for the title, it's for the title, this whole way through... And haven't even read it properly, being like, oh, they're just facing off. But you assume that this is a title match, you know, like. But then again, I guess, like, that could be what she's actually doing if she somehow wins. Like, yeah, but, I, but yeah, I don't, I don't see that either. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, <laughs> still, I still think it's really cool. And, like, again, like, it's one of those things that, you know, they're announcing something really big like this or fairly big like this to get people to be like, huh, I bet it gets me some tickets. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But they've got to do that. 
you know, and they they can't give away too much, but they're going to give away something. And this is like again, Miu coming in was a bit of a surprise to a degree. But if she if her music just hit, you know, uh, from a you know open challenge or whatever, it probably would have been, you know, just better. I don't know, but you have to have hype going in, I guess. So there'll be other things to surprise people and wow people, I hope. So, but yeah, this this will be there. Uh, so now you guys can let me know what do you think. Uh, will Miu stick around? Which is she just like doing this one off? Um, you know, w w like if she's sticking around, what's she gonna do? All that good stuff. Whatever you want to say down there in those comments below. Hope you've enjoyed this one, and hope you will join me again in another one.